Good morning. Um, I thought I could just film an update before my day starts. Um, I don't have that much to say, actually. Not about the gastric bypass journey, because it's just, you know, walking along. Um, I have... Uh, I have uh, started to get it as a r routine to go swimming twice a week now. Um, I can't ride as much as I would wish, uh, partly because I don't have time for it. Really, I could make time for it, but I don't really can do that now because, as I told you in an earlier video, my horse is pregnant and she is due... In about four weeks, I think, four four or five weeks. So she is getting heavy now. Uh, it's quite tough for her. And uh, from now on, I was out riding on. Uh, I was out uh, riding last Saturday, and that was and she was tough. And we we are just walking. We are not even doing anything. We are just like taking walks. <laughs> <laughs> in the village where she lives um and it's still quite she was very tired afterwards it's still a good thing that we do these walks so it's not because she still needs to move and she still needs to kind of activate her head a bit um so we will do take those little those small rides all the way up to her actual uh delivery when she is delivering um her foal um but from now on the one last saturday was probably the last one with a saddle on so it will be bareback from now on <laughs> and that's nice you know it's very nice to ride bareback but um you also can't do very much when you when you, well people who are really good riders can do, do just about the same things when they are bareback as they do um with a saddle so uh that's about it uh the only thing that is um uh, that has happened is that i have passed 20 kilos um I did that last week, um, so I officially have lost since starting this journey, and at the end of uh, in the end of November, I have officially lost twenty kilos. So uh, that's good, that's good. But that also was it some kind somewhat expected. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> So what's actually happening now? There are two things happening now. Firstly, I have started my studies. I talked about that in the first video uh, when I started doing this vloggy thingy. So uh, I have started my studies. I'm studying business development in in the tourism section or the, the tourism Oh, what do you call that? Visiting business area. Um, so I have started my studies. I've been doing that for four weeks now. And I have my first uh, course uh, examination this week. So tomorrow and Friday are my examination days. So that should be nice that should be good uh i am not worried about that that will be fine just fine so there's a lot of uh, a lot of that a lot of my studies in my head right now and the second thing is that i'm moving in two weeks now so i have started to throw things away the house is so small. I was there a couple of weeks ago measuring everything and it will be tough to get everything in. 
but I will have to manage and um, there's actually no option to not manage, you know. So, and I, and I think that I will be um, filming also my move quite a bit. What I'm doing now is actually <laughs> going through all my books. I have so many books and I'm throwing away so much. I'm trying to give away a lot, but everything is not, it's not interesting for people, you know. It's not p interesting for people to have old girls book <sighs> old girls books from the 50s and 60s and you know i could you know like not children's books but you know young young adults like for girls 13 14 15 years old um i had this from they uh come they come from my mum and I read them as a child or when I was young um, and thought they were, they were nice. But I don't think they are okay today. You know, they were okay in the mid 80s, uh, but today they are not. The gender, the portraying of uh, gender differences and how that, that's not okay. So I think you can, of course, you could read these today, but you should not read them when you are 14 or 15 because your head is not, is not developed enough for you to have that critical um, thinking with this. So, so I think they are, I'm, and, and unfortunately, I don't know, I haven't gotten anyone who wants them, so unfortunately, probably I will throw them away uh, and that hurts but yeah I can't I can't make room for everything and even thrift stores and secondhand stores and things like that they don't want books because people don't buy books uh, just thinking that it's quite strange strange thing that we live today if if anyone would have asked me 20 years ago that there soon will be a time when when uh oh my um encyclopedia encyclopedia in encyclopedias encyclopedias well you know a bunch of books with a lot of facts in uh, when that wouldn't be a life investment because that's how we have always seen them you know um if had anyone told me that they would go to completely out of worth you know and they were expensive 20 years ago people really really collected them and and well, i would not have believed you if you would have told me that they would be worthless in 20 years uh, fortunately I do have one of those uh, really old ones uh, that my grandparents had a subscription on in the 40s and perhaps 50s it's possible that they even started in the 30s I'm not sure exactly when they are printed these uh, but they are really beautiful but they are big you know and I can't I can't keep them keep them but fortunately there is one of my study uh, my one of my classmates that actually want them so I don't need to throw them away I had a thought that I would just because they are beautiful and I had a thought that I could demolish them and use just the covers to make storage um, boxes and things like that with them so that they still could be seen and used even though I couldn't use them as books anymore. Uh, yeah, but that's about it. Um, two things. I am studying and I am... And I am throwing things away. Uh, that's about it for now. Yep. 
this was a long talk about absolutely nothing. So uh, we'll see when I upload the next thing. Bye.